And the fourth blessing has a particular note of poignancy because it was delivered by someone who had experienced it, the Master Jesus. He'd been a planetary one upon earth and had really suffered. And these words, therefore, really come home to you. These are the ones, he says, who day by day suffer the unspeakable hell of terrible aloneness in order to give you their hearts. These are the ones who suffer day by day in a thousand psychological ways so that the dark little earth may make its revolutions through evolution. There are no words to describe the suffering or the depth of sacrifice of these ones. And then later he says, they walk unsung in silence through a dark world. They tarry here and the light doth come and then they pass onwards before the takers of that light do realize what has happened to them. And I must say this, I do remember hearing that and reading that many times while Dr. King was among us and I used to look at the world and think, gosh, they can't see this great one in, the, in their midst. Uh, they don't realize the light, the salvation, the change that he's bringing to their lives. Now, I'd go further than that and I'd apply it to all of us. I'd certainly apply it to myself. Uh, I would say that I didn't realize, I thought I did, but I didn't realize myself uh, the great light and I was a taker of that light by being privileged to talk to him virtually every day and be in his presence so much.